Hey, this is the best coach in this season five. I'm talking about relationships and I'm opening up and I'm talking about myself in relationships. So buckle up. Hopefully you enjoy, learn something. If I'm embarrassing myself, you know, it is what it is. But all I want to do is try and get the point across that you can't keep secrets and you just got to tell the truth. Uh, BX always talk about clarity. So clarity is something that you need to have. And that's it. So you have clarity by opening up and letting people know exactly where you come from, what you're thinking, what you've been through. And let's see if we can go forward and build a kingdom where everybody prosper. I love y'all. Hopefully you enjoy this episode, this season of The Best Coach. Hey, you just got to believe in the power of God. That's it. I don't know what else to tell you. If, you. if you've been frustrated with circumstances, with people, situations, lonely weekends, um, you better focus on the power of God. For all of the people that don't believe in biblical texts, um, yeah, um, the power is in the word and the word comes through scriptures and there's nothing wrong with what my mama and my grandmama taught me, nothing wrong with it. So the power of God is what you should follow. If you've ever been robbed, if you've ever had surgery, if you've ever been shot, if you've ever failed a class and had to repeat a year, if you've ever lost a family member, a loved one, you better believe in the power of God. If you've ever been evicted. I'm talking to my student athletes. If you've ever came back to your dorm room and found a roommate committed suicide, you better believe in the power of God. Well, the reason why I say that is because you better believe in something. You won't be able to believe in a parent because everybody don't love their parents. Some parents have been abusive to the child. So there's no way somebody can, can, can channel their life to believe in something that has harmed them. So that's out of the equation. So now we can't believe in no parents. So now you wanna believe in your doctor, the doctors lie, they use drugs. A lot of them are cocaine addicts or drug users. Can't believe in them. So you gotta believe in the power of God. You can't believe in yourself because you lie to you all the time. If you was happy with you, then you wouldn't need nobody else to confide in. You wouldn't need no counselor or psychiatrist or somebody you gotta pay a lot of money to if you believe in you. So you better believe in the power of God. Can't believe in those school books. When it comes to the biblical text, you just read it and you learn some stuff from it, apply it to your life and you keep going. And I'll give you maybe one right now to peel out of the book and that's do unto others as you will have them do unto you. If you don't want to read and believe nothing else, believe that one. Do unto others as you will have them do unto you. If you don't know what that means, I can explain it quickly. All it is is if you want something done to you, you do that to somebody else. If you don't want nobody stepping on your shoes, don't step on nobody's shoes. If you want somebody to give you a hug, then give hugs. It's really that simple. So the power of God, that's what I'm telling you right now. This is an order. I am commanding you to make yourself be, be um, engulfed in believing in a good spirit. That's what I'm saying. Because if you become incarcerated or something, if you have to hurt somebody or do something to somebody else, you're going to need some good spirits. I'm telling you, when you can't confide in anybody else, when you can't do that, 
and you need some good spirits. Shit. Oh, this is the best coach. Still going. And this is what? Season five now, right? Changing it up a little bit. Going after it. Love y'all. This shot the shot of my reach, man, my brother, man. You know what I'm saying? Let there be light.